Hey, what's up guys? Dark Arm Duelist Integrity doing some Ice Jade test hands. So I'm really excited for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Garland. And this deck is an amazing deck that has multiple ways to lock down your opponent. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron, along with test hands. And definitely give Garland some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one guys before we get into the test hands i really quickly want to show you guys the combo to give your opponent a one-sided skill drain which is super easy to establish in this deck with the right cards so what you're going to need for that combo is an ice jade cosmo core ice jade curse and the ice jade field spell which is really really awesome how easy it is to actually establish because all you have to do to establish this combo is to activate your field spell, activate Ice Jade Curse, and then special summon out Cosmic Lore by its own effect, which is really cool. That gives your opponent essentially a one-sided skill drain. You might be looking at these cards and going, wait, how does that happen? Well, let's take a quick look at these three cards. So let's first take a look at Ice Jade Cradle. This card is a really, really powerful field spell that has the ability that when this card is activated, you can add one of your Ice Jade monsters that's banished in your graveyard to your hand. And then once per turn, if a monster is normal or special summoned, except during the damage step, you can target a water monster that you control. And that monster, along with any face-up monster that your opponent controls, currently controls, loses attack equal to the targeted monster's original attack until the end phase of the turn. And you can only activate one of this card per turn which is a really powerful card because it lets us special summon out Cosmic Lore, which is extremely powerful effect to lock down your opponent's monsters. That if a face-up card is in your field spell zone, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is the way that we're actually special summoning this card to your side of the field. And you can only special summon this card once per turn this way. And then while the Ice Jade field spell is on the field, monsters your opponent control can only activate their effects the turn they are summoned, which is a, an extremely powerful effect that is one part of our lock, which is really cool and if your ice jade monster battles an opponent's monster that opponent's monster loses a thousand attack points during the damage calculation only we then play the single copy of the ice jade curse for this combo which has the ability that when, while an ice jade monster and the ice jade field spell are on the field your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters the turn that they are summoned so basically this card says that your opponent can't activate monster effects the turn that they're summoned but this says they can only activate them the turn that they're summoned so basically both of these say they can't activate effects which is really cool that just basically lock your opponent's monsters down which is really really neat this card also has a really awesome effect that basically is like a flame wingman effect that has the ability that basically when a monster is destroyed by battle involving your ice jade monster then you can target one of the destroyed monsters and inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack and you can only use this effect once per turn so that's pretty much the lock that you can establish in the deck and the main thing that this deck is focused around but if you don't establish this lock you have a really simple lock with the way that i've built the deck by just establishing goes in and number four to basically have a zombie world ish lock with rivalry which is really really neat because this is going to turn everything into water and then this says you can only have one attribute on the field so unless your opponent's playing water they can't actually summon which is kind of neat because goes will only let them control one attribute so Let's go ahead and get into the test hands now that i've shown you guys pretty much the main combos of the deck let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for this deck would you guys know you got a pile shuffle that is dad rule number one it's a very very important thing because you don't want to break even though this deck is super consistent and you have a lot of searchers in it you want to make sure that you can actually pile shuffle the deck because if you don't pile shuffle the deck you run the risk of breaking but this deck is super fun to be able to play because you can establish those really really easy combos to either one-sided skill drain your opponent or use the number four lock with goes and match so let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test ham because this deck is super fun to be able to play and it's not even that crazy to pick up which is really really nice so let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do so we're going to start out with a single copy of our Foolish Burial, a copy of our level three, which is actually a searcher, another copy of the level three, a copy of Acti, 
and a copy of Ice Jade Curse. So this is actually a pretty neat hand for this deck. You have a couple of different plays that you can actually pull off that can actually establish the lock, which is kinda neat. So what we're actually gonna do is use our Foolish Burial to get from our deck to the graveyard, our Cosmoclore, which is very important to get this card into the graveyard. And it's kinda neat because that bonus effect of the field spell is actually gonna how we're gonna get that card to our hand. So we're just gonna normal summon out the level three, from our hand to our side of the field and then grab from the deck the copy of our Ice Jade Field Spell, which is very, very important to grab. We're then going to activate the Ice Jade Field Spell, use its effect to be able to grab from the deck, or from the graveyard, excuse me, the copy of Cosmoclore, and then Special Summon Cosmoclore to the field, and then activate Ice Jade Curse, establishing the lock on our side of the field, which is just really, really cool how easy it is to actually establish this with all of the different searchers, because if I didn't open up the level three, as long as I open up Foolish Burial to get this card in the graveyard, if I opened up Ice Jade Cradle, I could actually search this card from the deck to be able to get that play rolling really quickly, which is really, really neat. So you can establish this super, super easy, and it's just really awesome. Now, the really neat thing as well about this is when this card actually drops this card down to zero attack points, which is kind of cool because it will drop its attack points down to zero to drop the opponent's monsters down, you can actually summon out a really neat boss monster with this card's effect, which was included in the deck profile which if you guys would like to check out is always down in the description down below for every test hand but this is really really neat with this card because it will drop it down to zero and i see an aqua level 10 monster that has zero attack points at the current moment which will allow us to actually summon out egyptian god slime which is kind of neat because you can just get rid of this card off your side of the field which will break your lock but you can just summon out egyptian god slime if you want to but with the hand that I have, if you pass over to the opponent, I'll actually show you guys really quickly how easy it is to remake the lock. So what we're gonna do is pass over to the opponent once you've established this field, which is kind of neat. Once we pass over to the opponent, if they can't out the lock, we're just gonna go ahead and draw for turn into a copy of Call by the Grave. And then at this point, we're just gonna normal summon out our other level three monster. We're then going to search the deck for our field spell. Again, another copy of that field spell, which is very, very important to grab at this point. Use the effect of our field spell to drop our copy of our Cosmocloid down to zero attack points, along with all of the opponent's monsters down by 1500. Then we're going to send this to Grave graveyard to summon out Egyptian God Slime, which then will just activate a copy of the ceremony on top of it and then grab a copy or a copy of the field spell on top of it to be able to grab this card back, which is really, really neat. And you also have the copy of Call by the Grave to block the opponent. So this isn't really necessary to summon. You could have just left it like this on the field and then searched out Ice Jade Cradle to get an additional monster on the field, which is kind of neat about this play. It's kind of overplaying, but it is a way that you can actually summon out the copy of Egyptian God Slime. It's just by dropping the attack points down with this card but let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next test hand because as you guys can see super easy to play deck really fun to be able to play and if you don't draw into your combo pieces to go in for that play you can just use this with number four to be able to lock down the opponent which is kind of neat so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for another test hand also instead of searching out the copy of the field spell you could search out ice jade cradle to search out kingfisher so that basically your copy of cosmoclore can attack while in defense position using its defense as its attack basically turning it into a super heavy samurai monster doing 3,000 attack points which is kind of neat with the uh, when it's equipped with kingfisher which is kind of neat so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for another test hand so we're going to go ahead and draw into a copy of our stealth angler a copy of uh acti a copy of cosmocloy our Gozen match, which we already got with these two in the hand and the copy of Gozen match, we've already got the lock with number four, and then another copy of Cosmocloy, which these are basically bricks in the hand right now, so we're just going to sit these cards to the side. So what we're going to do right off the bat with this hand is we're going to normal summon out the copy of Acti, and Acti is really neat because it has the ability, if this card is normal or special summon, you can send a water monster from your hand to the graveyard to draw an additional card, which we have two copies of Cosmocloy, and we can always retrieve it with our field spell, so we're going to go ahead and send one of these to the graveyard to be able to draw an additional card which is going to be our field spell 
kind of neat. So at this point, we can go ahead and activate the field spell on our side of the field, use its effect to be able to grab the copy of Cosmicoy back to our hand, and then special summon it from our hand to our side of the field in defense position. We can then special summon out the copy of Silent Angler and then overlay both of these on our side of the field to establish a copy of our number four, which is going to give us our second kind of lock in the deck because we can just set the copy of Goes and Match on our side of the field. Now at this point, we can pass over to the opponent, let them go ahead and do their thing, and then you can flip the copy of Goes and Match to basically lock down the opponent, which is kind of neat because this card says that they can only control one type of attribute, but your copy of Stealth is going to actually make everything water, which is kind of neat so if your opponent's not playing water they can't summon anything else which is really neat as long as they have one monster on the field so if they let us go back into our turn we're gonna go ahead and draw into a copy of kingfisher which then we can just special summon out our other copy of our cosmocloy and then activate the copy of kingfisher's ability that lets us target a water monster that you control and equip this card to that monster from your hand or field and then an ice jade monster equipped with this card can attack while in defense position basically turning it into a super heavy samurai monster applying its defense during damage calculation which is a really really neat effect to be able to just use that effect and then you can also just basically equip this card to it and then use its effect to drop the other monsters that your opponent controls with your copy of your field spell down which is kind of neat to be able to then attack with this card while it's in defense position and then use the copy of stealth to go in and this card also has a pop effect that once per turn during the main phase quick effect you can destroy one water monster that your opponent controls and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that monster's attack it had on the field which is really an awesome effect to be able to basically use this card almost like a mini dragoon which is really really awesome Awesome. So let's go ahead and go into the next test hand and see what we can do for the next one. As you guys can see, this deck is super powerful depending on the hands that you open. And the way that I built this deck originally when I built the deck, I ended up just like focusing around using Cosmocloy Curse and the Field Spell, but that really isn't super consistent as you guys just saw in that hand. You're not always going to draw into all three of the pieces. So you want to have a little bit of a like different plays. So I also have Bahamut Shark and Toad in the deck, which if you guys again want to check out the deck profile, it's always down in the description down below. So you can use Toad and Bahamut Shark in this deck as well, which is super nice to be able to use because we have a bunch of level four water monsters that we can use in the deck and also cards like silent sea nettles that can recycle some of our cards which is really really nice so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck again and see what we can do for the next test hand so we're going to go ahead and draw and we're going to draw into a copy of monster reborn always welcome to see acti which is going to send a water monster from hand to the grave to draw an additional card we've got ice jade curse we've got the field spell can we get cosmocloy and we draw into well we got it we've already got the lock again that's really cool we've already established it again because we drew the level three so we can go ahead and normal summon the level three which is going to let us add an ice jade spell or trap from our deck to our hand which we actually have a searcher which is our ice jade cradle that we can actually add from deck to hand we can then activate ice jade cradle to be able to grab from our deck to our hand our copy of cosmocloy which is very important to grab that card at this point so once you grab that card from your deck to your hand, we're then going to use its ability to be able to special summon it to our side of the field after we activate Ceremony, which is a really, really powerful card. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and send this to Grave because we used it to search this, special summon this to our side of the field, and now we've established this really awesome field that we can then just activate our copy of our Ice Jade Curse, which is really cool because now you've established that one-sided skill drain on the field so at this point we're going to go ahead and draw for our next turn because we're going to let the opponent go and then we're going to do whatever we need to do draw to a copy of tremora tremora is kind of neat in this situation but we have a water monster so we can normal summon out the copy of acti acti will let us send our tremora from our hand to the graveyard and once we do we get to draw an additional card which is going to be our copy of our level three so at this point you can actually link these two away on your side of the field just to get them out of the way to summon out a monster from your extra deck which is going to be super helpful to be able to summon out one of our link monsters like a copy of our coral anemone would be a really good play at this point because it can actually revive back your copy of acti if you want to to a zone that this card points to as long as it has 1500 or less attack points so we're actually just going to make a copy of coral anemone at this point using those two monsters on our side of the field it does lock us into summoning only water monsters but i'm just going to summon back a copy of acti in defense position to a zone that it points to which is going to be super helpful especially when we use monster reborn at this point to bring back our copy of our level three to our side of the field 
which has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add that card from deck to hand, which is why Monster Reborn is a great extender in the deck, because it doesn't have to be summoned, just normal summon, it can be special summoned as well, which will let us add another copy of our Cradle from deck to hand, which then we can activate on our side of the field to be able to grab from the deck our copy of Kingfisher, to be able to equip to our copy of Cosmic Glory, to be able to then attack while it's in defense position, which is really, really neat. And then at this point, all we need to do is draw into a level four monster to be able to get that other play, which should be pretty easy in this deck to be able to draw into a level four so we can make a Bahamut Toad or even establish a copy of our number four. So this is actually equipped to this. This is still in our hands. So this card can now attack while in defense position, which is kind of neat. You have the Coral Anemone as well. And this card, these two on the field, which aren't going to do all that much, but they're basically just here as additional monsters. You can link them away if you want to for Miss Star Boy. That is another option for you guys if you want to link these two away just to get them off the field but i like to leave acti on the field because it's a level four so that i can go in for bahamut or a copy of number four later on so at this point, we're going to go ahead and let the opponent do what they're going to do. Attack with this card first, and then attack with a copy of Coral Anemone. And then we're going to go ahead and draw for turn for our next turn, which we're going to draw into a level four. That is perfect. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and special summon it to our side of the field. Overlay it with our copy of Acti. And then we're going to go ahead and make a copy of Bahamut Shark. Detach a material from it to be able to then special summon from our extra deck a copy of Toad, and then you can normal summon out to your side of the field the level three, which is just gonna give us an additional monster on the field, which actually if you change these up, down here and summon this card way down here and summon this card way over here you can link this away for a miss star boy to be able to get another monster that can attack which is kind of neat so what we're going to do is go ahead and use the effect to be able to search the deck for an additional copy of our cradle which is going to help us out to be able to grab that card which then can search another copy of kingfisher which is just really nice to be able to put that card in our hand because we can actually summon the kingfisher that's in our back row which is kind of cool so at this point, we're going to go ahead and link these two monsters away on our side of the field, which is just insane that you can establish fields this big with this deck. And then we're going to summon out a copy of our Miss Star Boy, which is going to boost all of our water monsters up by 500 attack and defense, which is really awesome. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of our Kingfisher's of other effect, which is really, really cool that when this card is equipped to a monster, you can target a monster that your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the equipped monster's defense, which is 3,500 hundred at this point and then special summon this card and we do return the targeted monster to the hand so we're just going to special summon this card and then equip another copy of kingfisher to it giving us another 3000 attack point monster to go in for game so it's super easy to establish crazy boards in this deck because we have a 2500 attack point Coral Indemnity, we have a uh, 1500 attack point level three monster we have a 1900 attack point miss star boy a 3,000 attack point, Kingfisher. This card can attack while in defense solution, so it's at 3k. And then we also have a 2,700 attack point Toad that's also a walking negate, which is really cool, with a field spell that you can also target your copy of your Cosmocloy to be able to drop all the opponent's monsters down by 2,000 at this point because of the Mist Star Boy boosting it up, which is kind of neat. So you have these really cool plays that you have in this deck that you can interact with your cards to be able to make some insanely powerful boards. So let's go ahead and do one more test hand and see what we can do for one more just to see what we can pull off in this deck. Because you guys have pretty much seen how the deck works, but let's see if we can do one more test hand. We got to get that Bahamut Shark out of the graveyard. And I absolutely love these sleeves because they are just so good for Ice Jade. Having those Jade sleeves is just really cool. The blue-green sleeves for this deck is just really, really awesome. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for another test hand and see what we can pull off for our last test hand. Because if we can pull that off again, that would be absolutely insane because we've actually established the lock twice, which is really cool. And we've established the number four lock as well, which is the big two that you're going to be establishing in this deck which is just really, really neat. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for one more. So we're going to draw into a copy of Monster Reborn, a copy of Acti, a copy of Gozen Match. All we need is another level four. Instant Fusion, we've got it. And a copy of Ready Fusion as well. They really want us to have it. So 
we can actually make double toad where you can make double toad or we can make a number four and a toad so let's go ahead and see what we can do so what we're going to do is go ahead and set the copy of goes a match just to get it out of our hand i'm going to set it way down here so we don't have to worry about it then we're just going to normal summon out the copy of acti and we're actually going to use this card multiple times because we're going to use the effect to be able to bring out a copy of our ready fusion to be able to special summon from the extra deck which i did consider playing two of these which is a copy of rare fish rare fish is going to overlay with your copy of acti and we're going to go ahead and make a copy of bahamut shark we're then going to detach a material off of it which is going to be our copy of acti to be able to then bring it back in just a second the only downside is is we can make a level nine because i don't play another copy of rare fish but if you want to play another copy of rare fish you totally can in the deck or you can just establish a copy of number um you can actually just establish a copy of our number four if you want to just establish the Krajan lock if you want to just do that which is an option for you guys if you want to go that route instead of establishing the toe which is probably what i would do instead looking back at the hand because at this point you can just activate this and lock down the opponent so then we're going to go ahead and draw for turn and we're going to draw to a call by the grave which isn't going to help us all that much but you do have these two in the hand which if we do get another monster in our hand we can keep going because i do play a uh, copy of the sea monster which is kind of cool because you can actually bring it out with this card which is a really cool play which all we need is a copy of like ice jade cradle to be able to grab a monster from deck to hand to be able to grab like a copy of acti or you can even do a really neat play and grab the level three which i'm going to show you guys a really really cool play for the deck and you basically just normal summon this out and then activate your copy of your instant fusion that'll give you a search before you activate the instant fusion which we're going to just grab another copy of cradle because it's not once per turn activate the copy of instant fusion bring out your copy of your sea monster and then you can actually sync these two away because they're both that becomes level eight so you can actually summon out dragite which is kind of neat in this deck to be able to give you a spell and trap negate which is just really really cool so you have all these cards still in your hand that you can establish and just keep going as the game rolls on which is just really really cool so i think that pretty much shows how the deck works it's super fun to be able to play and it's just a really cool deck i'm really excited that garland actually uh suggested this one because it's super fun to be able to play and just really amazing what this deck can pull off and even if we get if we get a little bit more support for this deck that makes it even more consistent like another good level four that we can play in this deck this deck could be absolutely insane which is really really amazing it's like one or two cards from being just absolutely broken because right now it's fun to play and it can do some really fun stuff but with one or two more cards this deck could be absolutely broken so anyways guys this is dark room duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys